Hello everybody and welcome back to Aurora 4X. I of course am Serbian and I am also rather late on recording this episode on account of spending the entire day playing co-op uh, Terraria. Uh, so this video is probably going to get uploaded uh, about mm, two, two and a bit hours from, from this moment. So let's get stuck into it. Um, so, we're wait at the moment we are waiting on just a few techs to complete so we can build our two-stage fighter so that the next time Swarm come around we can go in and pew-pew the ever-loving shit out of it uh, and not have to waste any missiles. And, I can show and I'll also be able to show you how to deal with uh, really annoying uh, fighters running around um, or at least deal with Swarm. Now, um, it is possible to build this type of... Uh, swarm counter at Ion Tech. Um, Ion engines are pretty much the earliest. Um, basically, all you do is you get um, Ion engines, you get them up to um, a reasonable power mod, mod, and then you just stack them until you get about 12,000 speed, and then stick like two lasers on it. Um, it's very fuel thirsty, it's horribly inefficient, um, but it does basically completely shut down Swarm uh, because you're faster than their fastest ship, you will outrange them, and that's it. Their ticket's punched. So, yeah, how about that? Um, I am, um, stack that. Um, so, hang on, what completed? Oh, right. We didn't have anything new on the... On Muscles and Kinetic. Um, <clears throat> muscle, 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 kinetic. Now, you know what? Keep it up, because we have a lot of very expensive sensors to get through. Um... Yeah, so because you outrange them and outgun them, they they basically can't really do anything. <clears throat> um, first stream is done. We're about a quarter way to our, to our shipyard. <clears throat> I'm getting lots of missiles. Good thing is that the new missiles are going to make our current missile ships already more effective. Um, but... We are going to want that next generation just for the better engines, the fuel economy, um, the extra speed. I honestly can't remember what the magpies are anymore. There are bombers, right? Yeah. Yeah, there, there are bombers. I think we might need more navels because we're also going to need one for the carrier as well. So, yeah, let, let's tack on another naval yard. You know what? Fuck it. Get two. I'm sure I'll need one for something. Wow. We have a 65 power. How old is he? He's probably going to die soon. Power propulsion... Next one down is a 30. Do we have somebody in training? No. We, we need to get somebody in training now. Um, veterans. Perfect. 
Um, all right, now that sensor is done, we're getting through them nice and quick. Almost 40,000 research points does that to you. Uh, cargo has arrived. 150 EP commercial ion drive. Scrap that. Won't be any good. Thermal sensor. That's not ours, is it? <clears throat> yeah, we don't design a, a size 6 sensor. <clears throat> Must have picked it up off somewhere. Ooh, Delta Shields is almost done. We can we start we can start doing shields now. No no wait. There's a region, right? Never mind. Oh, and I still hang on. Neat. There. Now we'll actually remember to do that. Okay. I'm working on Delta Shields so we can get those shields. So please do two's done. Actually those are the guys with the cargo, I think. Yeah. Cool. We probably could scrap them, but mm. All right, Delta Shields is done. And uh, nothing too new. Yeah, nothing else useful. Uh, as soon as the shield the, the the shield region is done, we're going to start uh, working on an actual shield. Okay, two factories restored. We own repair, repair and automated mine. Mm. Okay. Yeah, we're getting about 500 research points a, t a, a, a week at the moment, which is pretty damn nice. Restored, band automated mine and regular mine. Cool. How are we doing? We're almost there. Why the hell? Where the hell did those five labs come from? Wait, are our civilians actually operating now? No, we're not demanding anything at the moment. I have no idea where those five labs came from. <clears throat> Nothing finished. Construction production. Defensive systems. Energy weapons is in Melbourne. Logistics ground, we're not doing anything. Oh no, it is. It is. Because we had um, ground unit strength researching. Alright, cool. Uh, missiles kinetics. Okay, we'll, we'll get into the missiles, guys. Keep working on that advanced railgun. 
and uh, while you're at it, queue up feed efficiency. Yes. Okay. I want maximum DACA and maximum pew pew. Okay, the rest of the sensors are pretty cheap, so. <clears throat> what were they doing? Oh, they were transporting construction brigades to Melbourne, I think. Is that right? Yeah, they were. Okay. All right, there's one down. Structure factor at Melbourne done. Great. All right, this should be nice and quick. We should have to run through the rest of them. There's on like 550, 550, and 246 at the moment. So, it should be like three weeks, maybe. One. Uh, ordnance factory. Okay. Um, I need you to add two thousand slowly. No, no rush, but just. We should have an extra naval yard. Oh yeah, there they are, okay. Set and set. Um, that is actually one benefit of building them in batches, like so building, so adding three jobs of one instead of one job of three. Um, it gives you, it, you will get a little bit of wasted um, construction because they don't automatically jump, um, transfer the construction across to the next job because uh, they only pick up job jobs at the end of a production cycle um, but if you do three jobs of one you will get an alert every single time they build a new one so you don't run into this situation where you've um... oh no that's a that's a fact constructor mm, okay Whatever. Um, yeah, we don't run into the situation where you have a new shipyard and it's doing nothing when you should be expanding it. Okay, thermal sensor and 25 centimeter laser is done. Now we're working on soft x ray. Um, Thirty centimeter, yep. Cue that up. I just want the big lasers, big, big lasers. Okay, we have all of our sensors. We should now be able to make our ships. So let's get back to it. Uh, these guys are done. Uh, this is our assault shuttle that's done. Um, so our anti fact ships. So let's strip these launchers and fire controls. Make sure armor is upgraded. All right, and we want first of all, that's our res twenty. This is our old one, I believe. Actually, I believe it tells you... Does it tell you what year it was, it was completed? No, it doesn't show it here. Um, there's a, there was a very good advice posted in the comments of a previous video. Um, put the year that you design your sensor in. That way you know which one's old. But I'm pretty sure this is our old one because this one has the AFMFC, which I used for the last one. So um, The other option, of course, is to use a different manufacturer every generation. 
but that could get com um, complicated and confusing. So this is the old one because it's twice the size and beyond the range of our um, missiles anyway, so obsolete that. Um, the other of co option, of course, is to obsolete all the all your se current sensors before you act while you while you're still researching the other one. These ones are obsolete, so get rid of that. That I don't even know why we even still have that. Um, don't need that one. Okay, so res twenty, we are going to add. Four of them. That gets up to nine thousand tons. Uh, then we are also going to add two res one um, fire controls. Okay, for our anti missile duties, and then missile launchers. We want phalanx size six. There we go. So 20 launchers, that gives us five per fire control, or up to five per fire control. Um, we probably won't need five per fire control, actually. Like, three would be enough. Four, eight, 12, uh, three, six, nine, 12. Yeah, so three per fire control. Because the, like, we, we had 50% accuracy against Swarm, right? So three would pretty much, would be pretty much guaranteed overkill. So one for the miss, one for the hit, one for the just in case, fuck you. So three per fire control should be fine. And then size one launchers, these are our new ones. Uh, hang on. Did we not design a phalanx size one launcher? Or did it decide that it wasn't worth designing? I think that might be the case. Hang on, let me just make sure I didn't. You know, they're working on the advanced rail gun. not developing it here and they're definitely not developing it here okay I think I am using the old one so yeah size one launcher there that is five uh, that is ten per fire control and that's a lot of size one launchers um, at si at real rate to 15 we're gonna have a few like three or four of these Maybe, like, at least two. We're going to have at least two. So we will be able to fire 40 AMMs per 15 seconds. Um, that'll, 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 against, an, against, an, against AMM spam, against AMM spam, that probably won't be good. Um, but it gets, like, a bomber wave where we can fire, um, it's a fair amount of missiles. It's a fair amount of missiles, and we're only at 14,000 tons compared to 49,000. So we're actually almost dead on target for our tonnage. We got fire controls, we got magazines, we got launchers. We got our engine. We are slower. Mm, no, we need another engine. So we are going to be over over 14,000. So we're, we're going to be heavier, but... 12 EP, internal fusion, this one. Add one of those, 17,000 tons, that gets us up to fleet speed. Yeah, so it's heavier, but it's better. And it's dedicated to anti-fighter duties. So it doesn't have this bastardized combination here. Uh, it's got the multiple fire controls. It's it's just significantly better all around for anti-fighter duties. Plain and simple. 
Um, we could run... Now, we have 24 billion kilometers. We don't really need the extra fuel. We don't need the compressed. Um, it's, it's, it's more expensive. We don't need it. Okay. And we're not running restrictions on, um, on boronite either. If if we needed it, we could. If we if we were low on boronide, we need and we have plenty of neutronium, we could run the compressed instead. But no, we don't have restrictions on boronide, so this is fine. Seventy thousand tons, even that's pretty good for seventy three kilometers a second. Yeah, no, that's this is this is a pretty good ship. Um, ordnance ditch those. Um. So we want, we have 1300, we want 500 Hornets, 137 Wedge Tails, how many shots is that? 12, 137 No, 11. Yeah, 144 is 12 times 12. So it's just under... Hang on. Let's get 144. Because that's it. 12 salvos even. And then just fill the rest with, same, with Hornets. Hornets are good ones? Yes, 50,000. Good. What's interesting is that our Hornets are actually not that much faster than our Wedge Tails. So our anti-fighter size 6 missiles are a l only a little bit slower than our um, actual AMMs. So, in a pinch, <laughs> we could use these for anti-missile use, but that would be silly. Ugh. Okay, so that's our anti fighter anti missile. So we're gonna rename, um, actually, save the renaming it first in a sec. Well, actually, yeah, no, I'll name this one. There we go, as suggested, Ant Eater, and this is a missile defense frigate. I don't think that's the right hull class. It's more of a destroyer, really. Yeah, I mean, by, by roll, it's more of a destroyer. So... Yeah. The, the, in, in the roll is more of a destroyer. Because that's what destroyers are supposed to do, right? That's a, the, they were originally intended to tackle um, the smaller um, torpedo boats. Like, you get basically like a little yacht or a dinghy or something. You stick a torpedo launcher on it. You go right up to a battleship. You put a torpedo up its ass. Um, and the big guns of the battleship can't hit a small zippy craft like that, right? Like, it, it, it's basically a rib. Except before ribs were a thing, but you know, like you you, you get like a, fi a fishing boat, you stick a souped up engine on it, you sail right up to it and go boom 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 torpedoes up a battleship. Um, so destroyers had smaller guns to shoot down these tiny tiny little fast zippy ships, which are basically fighters in here. Um, and then eventually, guns got good enough where those torpedo boats were. Well, I mean, experience has shown that those to those kinds of torpedo, those kinds of fast zippy boats, are, are will pretty much never not be practical. But um, you know, it's yeah. Anyway, so that's so that's that's where the term destroyer came from. That that's the term the, the torpedo boat destroyer. So that's that's the origin of the, of the term, um, and then eventually the torpedo part got dropped when those kinds of boats. Well, you can't get them out into the middle of the Pacific, um, so they took on other duties and they got big torpedoes of their own, 
Um, and then they became the destroyers we know. Um, yeah, so that so that is more 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 of the more in line with the actual role that it's actually doing. So if if anything, this one has the wrong terminology because it's not acting the role of the destroyer; it's um, acting the role of a crew of a battleship, of a main of a yeah of a main battleship. Because it's it's sitting in the line of battle, trading fire with the other enemy capital ships. That that's that's a battleship. Anyway, uh, fire controls. Stripping out fire controls, replacing them with the better ones, which is this one. So that one's obsolete. Bye bye. Oh, we hang on. Did I put in the correct fire controls? I believe I did. Five. Ant eater. Yes, correct. So Kamal is retired. Kamal AD is retiring. Kamal heavy. We have the new five controls on, and where are the new launchers? these ones <clears throat> the 50 launchers has served us incredibly well so I want to preserve that there you go rate of fire 6000 that is much nicer um, ECCM oh, we need the new ECM so strip out two ECM two uh, we've got damage control. We've got our armor engines. Wait, is that the, no, they're, they're, those, those are current engines. Those are current engines. Uh, yeah, no, this is basically all we're doing. Because there's not really that much difference between these two. It's just new ECM, fire control, ECCM, uh, new engine. Yeah, so it's new engine, new fire control, basically. And I only put on a hundred tons. Speed's a bit on the slow side, though. Mm, it's a, it's it's a little bit below fleet speed. I don't like it being that slow. We could strip out a, a set of launchers. If we did that, we'd be down to 18,000 tons, up to 7,000 kilometers a second, which is roughly fleet speed. And all we need to do is just build more of these. So it's not as effective, but the but the the faster missiles, the effective missiles, are what's going to give us that firepower, and it'll give us more salvos. Um, I'm doing skinks. One hundred and two skinks. Yeah. So actually, I'm going to strip out two skinks and use get some observation boys. Wait, how can you fit two skinks but only one observation void? Oh, right, it went into the negative capacity. Yeah, game does that. Um, we could probably actually... Can we design a new, a new kookaburra? Problem is, I have no idea if this is actually still good or not. Well, I mean, it's smaller with the same specs. So it must be because we, we we determine how much sensor it is, and then it just gives it a tonnage. So we have to be, have improved. Um, if we jump this up to six, no. So 
six point one two three four five 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 six point five five that gets us seven million kilometers. So we got seven million kilometers compared to six. For a million kilometers difference, not worth it. One will be sufficient. We could make it smaller though. Just run the same missiles but smaller. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. We'll, we'll, we'll just run a kookaburra for now. So one kookaburra observation buoy uh, that we can drop as we go. Uh, plus two. Well, it's not really two salvos anymore. Because we got... 40, 40, and then 20. So it's like two and a half. <sighs> Strip out one of these. Not all of these. No, this is good enough. This is good. 7,000 kilometers a second. That's roughly, that. that's, that's basically our fleet speed, 7,000 Ks. If it can if it can get above seven Ks, I'm happy with that. Um, because I mean, like, it was six. We're going up by a thousand kilometers on average. <laughs> that is nice. Um, oh shit, I mean, these things could probably smash um, smash some swarm if they had the resolution to target it. Um, Okay. Uh, come on, heavy. Um, so if the other one was ant eater, killing the little ants. Um, ooh. I know. No, not not you. Not rename you. You. We're gonna go for spiders. The spider. Okay. Um, new role. Missile. Do I have a missile battle cruiser? I've got a kinetic battle cruiser. Missile cruiser? No. And what do we have? Just straight up battle cruiser. We do. Natalie. Okay. 23 billion kilometers. Yes, please. Compared to 12 for the same fuel. Thank you to the Kamals. You have served us well. The Colliers can probably stay, although they really should get... Oh, oh God. Okay. Um, copy you. Good God, man. New armor. That's better. <clears throat> ah, jeez. Just below fleet speed. That doesn't get us up to fleet speed. Obsolete that. Um, obsolete that. Obsolete that. Obsolete. Obsolete. Jump drives never really go obsolete until you replace them entirely. Um. 
All right, if we add two, that gets us 13,000, and now we're super fast. And put that map, put your magazine back on. Put your magazine back on. Fourteen thousand tons, fourteen thousand. So about the same tonnage, but significantly faster. We can probably afford. Yeah, no. Hang on. What's the, what's the tonnage on our magazine shipyard? Right. No, we wanted to get it. Oh no, we 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 need this to be. Um. We need this buildable off the Huntsman. That's right. So we need as much of it to be identical as possible. Which means ECM2. Because we don't want to get a shot at getting shot either. Um, DAC builder. Huntsman can build a convict? Right now. But not the collier. So from Huntsman, it's eight ninety nine. All right, let's. Fuck's sake! Down, down. Okay. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake! Down from the collier. Okay. What's the tonnage? Seventeen thousand. Okay, we have to get this up to seventeen thousand. Which means... How many magazines is it? That one has two magazines. Let's get... Okay, let's get more magazines. Let's make sure everything else matches first. Engines, yes. Let's put a damage control on here. So we match that cost. All right, let's go put some magazines on. Magazine until we get to how much? 17,850, 17,800. Oh, dead on. Huntsman refit cost from Collier. That's, mm, no, not Kamal Collier, Huntsman Collier. 1,600, what about the other way around? 933, that's got more expensive. Mm, we might not be able to make it work again. Let's up the armor. Get that matching. Now we need to drop tonnage. Let's get another engineering bay because that matches. That's even worse because of the because of the tonnage disparity. We might just have to make it buildable separately. How is it worse? What's the what's the cost? Engines are 28%, but the launchers are also... Hang on. The launchers are, are a quarter of the ship. That's what it is. We're not, we're not, not going to be able to make it work. Just no. 23% of the cost of the ship are the launchers. And... Well, 43% of the engines, so we match that, but... Like 28% of the magazines... And the Huntsman only has two. So unless we put more magazines on the Huntsman, which means we put more on the Collier, it's not going to happen. It's they, they are uh, they are too different. So okay, let's 
strip out a few of these then. Uh, six will be enough, I think. 8,000, that's above fleet speed. Great. Strip out these and let's put 500 Hornets. Put 100 Skinks. Actually, if we put 120 Skinks, that's three Salvos. So that's enough. That's enough Skinks for three of our uh, missile main missile ships, and 25 anti-fighter missiles. But I mean, this this is general purpose Collier. Yeah. Let's let's only put twenty wedge tails as a backup, and put some observation boys. All right, twenty one wedge tails, and then two more hornets. Perfect. Okay. Collier, nice. Um, this one I think. No, it's not supposed to be tanking, tankering. We're not going to run that. So, it's not built off the Huntsman. So, it's just a standard Collier. Um, MC I don't care to come up with a name and this is far more descriptive than anything else would be okay so we have a collier thank you for your service do I just obsolete did I obsolete something important I probably obsolete something important um, we need to just quickly upgrade Nest before it's built. Um, so 525s, obsolete that, obsolete that. Swap those out. ECM2, we already have, that's fine. Armor, we have the best, good. Um, that's actually it. <laughs> What engines are we running? Oh, we're not running any engines at the moment. Because we're waiting for these. It's well below fleet speed, but I think we're going to need to get... Yeah, it's below fleet speed, but that's fine. We're going to need a hell of a lot more fuel as well. So this is our first ship that's breaking 20,000. And yeah, and no, I will keep that. It is significantly less expensive to use a very a single very large though. I mean these things are not never supposed to be shot. Fifty three billion, that's a lot of fuel. That's three engines that gets up to fleet speed. Okay, we have our nest. Yeah, so this thing must never go anywhere near battle. Ever. Magpie runs a crew of two. So... One seventeen, that gives us about fifty fighters. Uh, we'll run. No, not a savior. Magpies, magpies all day. Fourteen magpies. So we need like 
28 flight crew berths actually. There. That's pretty good. Two maintenance storage bays and an engineering space. We'll see, yeah, we'll stick an engineering space. I obsoleted the engineering space, didn't I? Fuck's sake. <sighs> Can I unobsolete it? Okay, good. Ah, <clears throat> that was a potential disaster averted. Okay. Mm, actually. 26,000 ton nest. Brilliant. Okay, with 14 magpie bombers, we got uh, plenty of ordnance. So we're going to run... Oh, they're, only, they're only size 6 bombers, aren't they? Oh, we're going to need a size 6 uh, torpedo then. We'll come back to you. Actually, no, we got time. Skink driver, that's size 2. This one's faster. Okay, so Taipan. We want tiny range because it doesn't need to get far. We want 0.01 thermal sensor so it can detect uh, actually 0.3 so it can detect a nice strong engine. 0.3 or 0.4? 0.3. Uh, 0.51 a blade of armor, one ECM, and the rest. That's not really that much warhead. Okay, keep it at point one. I think we're not going to go with the armor. No, no, no. Let's get up to three. We need to get to size six. Um, we have no agility either. I mean, we still have reasonable accuracy, but we don't have the speed anymore either. Okay. Ditch the defensive. We're going to go with just mass um, volley size as our biggest offense. But even then, they're not f super fast either. Um, we can't put two of these. I mean, two of these will make it super fast, but not fast enough. Now, we're just going to go with that and point seven. Point six seven. That's all we need for a size 16. Make this point two so we can get 14 million range. Okay, 14 million doing 40,000. How does that compare to our... to what we have at the moment on the wedge tail? Same speed. Well, of course it is, because it's using the same engine. It's got less range. It's got the same warhead. Maneuvering 21, 21. It's basically the same fucking missile, just less efficient. Fuck it, we'll just use the wedge tails. That'll do. Okay. Yeah, it'll do. They're not really bombers, but... I mean, the wedge tail can work in a bomber role. It's not designed for it, but... You know what? Better idea. Magpie. We'll 
copy you and we are going to swap your bomber fire control which is res 1 for our res 20 anti-fighter roll so same tonnage uh, slightly more expensive but we now have a uh, anti-fighter engine uh, anti-fighter strike ship so we now have an interceptor <clears throat> and this is a interceptor There we are. Yeah. Cool. We now have an interceptor. That's nice. Swap ordnance from bullet into wedge tail. Um, we only need like twelve of these guys, so. Yeah, we can. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Good enough. Okay. So now we will have, well, now we get to choose between a wing of bombers and a wing of um, interceptors. And only like five more expensive, so that's fine. Okay. <clears throat> um, Odinson thermal sensor is done. Yes, we know. Uh, laser focus size is done. Good. Uh, two mines and infrastructure. Cool. So now we actually need to start tooling. So. Uh, Kamal will be tooled into the Anteater. Kamal Heavy will be tooled into the Huntsman. Um, cactus can stay Cactus. We are definitely going to need one of these for our for our um, magazine ship. Uh, we'll, we'll run one of the new ones for our magazine ships. Okay. <clears throat> but I knew, but we can run, we can use the old magazine ships um, for the time being. Hang on, where do we even build the damn things from? Burke and Wells, Kamal Heavy, Kamal and Salvager, Cactus and Convict, we don't even need this, okay really guys where the hell did we build our magazine ships from? Or did I fuck up the magazine ship accidentally? Did I accidentally fuck up the magazine ship?
Yeah, I think I think I fucked something up somewhere. Uh, okay. I don't know. I don't want to try and figure it out now. Um. One a second. Cool. Yeah, I, I, I don't want to try and figure it out now. <sighs> um, let's pull labs out of you. Fifteen labs. Put twenty into construction. Put all ten into shields. Five into you, five into you. Um, got construction, got defensive, got energy over there. Logistics. Oh, I suppose we can do it. We can run one of those. That's going to take him forever. <laughs> How long is it actually going to take him? A decade. <laughs> uh, I feel sorry for him. He's probably going, I cannot work like this. All right. Okay. Let's get our salvager done. But I am really looking forward to getting our new ships on... Um, of, um, into service because they're going to be spectacular. Construction, yeah. Oh, hey, they launched a fuel harvester. That's cool. New jump point in Townsville. Retooling for Camelback is done. So, how long is it going to take? October 63, it's going to take a bit over a year. Um, actually, fuck. You know what I just realized? Camelback isn't big enough. We're going to have a carrier. It's also too slow. This is not good enough. Well, I mean, it's good enough for everything but the carrier. We might have to get a dedicated jump ship for the carrier, which reminds me we can pull some of the fuel out of the carrier and put it on that dedicated jump ship. So, yeah, ca carrier will have to be a carrier will be its own task force, and we can just add the uh, standard fleet ships to the complement as we go. So, no, ca Camel Camelback is fine for now. It's fine for now. Um, yeah, okay. So, ship components. Because we're about to get 50% uh, of our thing. So, ship components, we need... Cost 100, yeah. Well, we need engines. We need engines. Lockheed 1250 internal fusion. Perfect. Let's bring 40 of them on. 40? Each of our ships has about two. 40 is 20 ships. 40. We can build more later. We can build more later if we start to run out, but we'll build 40 for now. Uh, and we have a lot of missile ships, so we'll build magazines. 
because I believe we have run out. Yes. And uh, let's just get a hundred of these because they're standardized. So that's fine. All right. Engines and magazines. Um, that will those will help a lot. Uh, we'll also want. Sensors. No, these are five kilos of sensors. Yeah, no, that they're, they're how much? How expensive are they? Twenty one. Oh, the AMM fire controls could be built up. Hang on. What are the most expensive components of our ships right now? Ant eater. Magazines and engines. And the size 6 launchers, I guess. So, uh, they don't really count. And Huntsman. Launcher. Magazine. Okay, so if we get the launchers and the magazines, like... Fire controls are down here. They're, ten, they're less than 10% of the cost. So we just need the launchers. Okay. Lots and lots of launchers. So size 10 launcher. I'm just going to bring 200 of them in. That'll be 4, 8, 12, 16. That's 4 uh, huntsmen. 4 huntsmen. 4, 8, 12, 16, 20. Oh, 5. Yeah, that's five huntsmen. And then where's the phalanx size six launcher? We have a uh, twenty of those, I believe. No, twelve of those. Twelve, twenty-four, thirty-six. There we go. Um hang on. What? Yeah, no, they are running size 6. Okay, good. Good run. Could, run, could build some of these. Cut down the cost of our civilian ships, but ugh. No. That'll do. That'll do. That, that, this is the most industrially efficient uh, opportunity to pre-build. We can build stuff on um, once uh, for like a uh, custom build for the ship using industry just before we build the ship itself because you will still save a fair bit of time, especially with the 50,000 construction, uh, 56,000 construction power we have. So we will save time by pre-building, but just... In this initial stage, before we even really know how many we're going to need or have, um, this is sufficient. Okay. Uh, we don't really care about that right now. We just care about getting our shipyards uh, big enough. So, I think I'm going to tool this one for... I think we're going to get this one big enough for the carrier. August 62, May 62, November 62. Yeah, no, no rush on the carrier. So, actually, a little bit of a rush on the carrier. Well, no rush on the carrier because we don't have the um, jump tender for it. Although, if we just, if we use gates, the carrier can patrol the gates. Yeah, okay, no. Do it. Okay. Not, not not too much rush, but whatever. Okay. Yeah, so this one will be retooled into the carrier, um, and we can set the... Until we get the jump ship for it, the carrier can run um, protection for our gate network. But uh, I think with, with the completion of the design of our actual ships, I think it's about time they would call it uh, an end to this episode. So time for me to get this thing uh, rendered down and uploaded, and then you guys will get to uh, watch it. But in the meantime, 
thank you for watching it on your time, on your end, and I will see you then.